So here we are. We're supposed to be playing as a three, a three and a four ball. I'm in now in the second five ball. We got put into five balls. I asked the starter why. She pointed down the fairway at a seven ball. So I wasn't really excited for this round before it even started. Now the course doesn't look in too bad a shape on the small screen, but I can assure you it wasn't good. And I think you'll notice almost straight away this absolute madness when there's 10 people around. There's always somebody moving, there's always somebody talking, and you're just kind of like getting in each other's way constantly. It's something that you have to manage is the fact that there are people all over the place, all over the fairway and the rough. And you've got to try and play your shot when you can. Second hole, very tight. In fact, most of the holes on this course are very narrow. It saves money. Where's our first tee? As the longest hitter, I'm always the last to play. And it takes me a long time to get from the cart actually out into the fairway to play this shot. So, as the last person to play, I always feel like I'm rushing. Oh, hit it, Simon. In the hole. Wow. I didn't think it was going to get there. Par five, slight dog leg left, water down the right. This isn't exactly my long suit. But I managed to hit a decent one. I finish on a down slope. And I don't fancy going over that water off a down slope. So it's just a mid iron towards those bunkers. Put ourselves in the best position I can. That's okay. For the third shot. You can only just see the top of the flag because of those bunkers. This is pure feel. And it's done pretty good. But the greens here are very slow. As you can see, this is dark. It's into the grain. So it's going to be slow. But then it's going to be extra slow. Because the greens are slow. Look how quickly that just ran out of steam. Just a four iron here. I can't reach the bunker. I'm just going to fade it off the bunker into the fairway. She was shouting for at the people on the next tee who are another 50, 60 yards away. I don't think I can hit my four iron that far. Ball below the feet. This is absolutely perfect for a nine iron. Aim it left and let it drift a bit. Put for a bird. Not quite. Go to the fifth, par three, over the water, the flag sat between those two bunkers, 162. This is a fade with a six iron. Fade, fade in, fade in. Oh. Seven iron. <laughs> The next par five, dog leg right. Quite a short hole this. There's jungle left. Some of my playing partners paid it a visit. I don't even know if that's sure good that's or, not. Too much or not. As it happened it was. On a down slope, it's gonna be very difficult to get height on this. Up. Yeah. Down slope. Yeah. Couldn't get it up. 
There's a guy on my right, but I'm nowhere near his line of play. So I thought I'd get in the bunker and get ready to play my shot. You play with us or with your camera? It's his job. I know, I'm just waiting. get round the golf course quickly rather than in six hours. Go. Guy has been giving me grief because he's walking. He's now setting off early because he's not permitted to ride the back of a golf cart like he was trying to do. I'm in a bit of a foul mood already and this swing I pull a muscle in my left forearm and it's exceptionally painful and it stayed painful the rest of the holiday. <laughs> I knocked this a little right, but the wind brought it back in, and it looked very close. In fact, it was only a foot. The wind helped me there. An island green with an eight iron. Now I've hit to so many island greens in Thailand, they just don't bother me anymore. Even though I hit a poor shot. I suppose if it was a four iron, I'd be a bit worried about it. But as you can see, this thing is massive. There's very few tiny island greens in Thailand, so you don't have to worry about it. There's plenty of space to land it. I've had to fiddle with the settings here, because it's right into the sun and the picture was black as night. We're still struggling with exceptionally slow greens. The ninth, a lot of water, going with the three wood, and I tug it but it did make it onto dry land. Now after this hole, I wanted to quit. The pace of play was incredibly slow, as you could imagine, two five balls stuck behind a seven ball. Plus my arm was killing me. The caddy persuaded me to carry on. But trying to play golf like this is absolute madness. 10 people on a green. Goodness knows what it's like for the game in front because they have turned into an eight ball. They've got 16 people on a green. Number 10, dog leg right, so I'm going with the driver and I'm trying to fade it. Where's he going? Now it is part of the caddy's job to shout four. In fact, they would get told off if they didn't shout four. But it does kind of get irritating when you know that your shot is not going to ever reach who they're shouting four at. There have been a few occasions where they really did need to shout four for me because I'd hit a big slice or something. But as a general rule, not so much. But they're only doing their job after all. A dog leg left with water. 
and this took a lot of figuring out. In the end, my caddy and I settled on four iron and she gave me the line. Now from here, it looks awful, but actually it finished in the middle of the fairway. While my playing partners raised the level of the water in the lake by a foot with all the balls they put in, I had a long wait for this shot and quite frankly, I'd lose in the will to live. Sorry, I've given up on this round, it's too slow. I think the only thing keeping me going is pride in my craft, my game, my score, my handicap. So I tried as hard as I could when I had sufficient concentration to do so. The 12th is very, very tight. So just the hybrid here. Put it slap bang in the middle of the fairway. I got told off for playing out of turn again. Because the old guy had taken two or three shots and he still wasn't up with me. But as you can see, when you play your shot, you get in your golf cart and you head off towards your next shot. Tiny little green this one. We're all playing at the same time. It's all a pig's ear. As you can imagine, with 10 people on a green. A par three, eight iron. Yeah, nice shot. Point oh, point oh. Point Oh, wait a minute. In the hole? Is that in? Yeah. Maybe in the hole. Holy shit. Oh, it's long. Is that in? Maybe. Well, as we got closer to the green, I could see that there was a ridge down the middle of it. So the ball did disappear from view, and it was dead on line for the flag. But all it had done was gone over the ridge. And with the green being a bit slow, if you underhit it, they don't fall in the front, they turn away. I went from a one to a three in the blink of an eye. Another tight par four. Just taking a three wood here and try thread the needle. No idea why I thinned that, other than that I was stood there for some considerable time waiting to play it. Where I'm stood here now is exceptionally soggy. It's absolute filth there. So the rest of this hole, I'm afraid, is not very good. I must admit, if I could have chosen anywhere else to be, I would have been there, rather than on this course. Not sure why this is a par 5, but trees all the way down the right and swamp all the way down the left. Which claimed another few balls from my playing partners. Have a look at this guys. Six ball on the green. Five ball in the fairway, another five ball in the fairway, which is us. I gotta go over the swamp to get to the green, but there's plenty to land on the other side. And after waiting for 13 players to get out of the way, I didn't fancy laying up, to be honest. For a long way and nil. Uphill and into the grain, this needs striking quite firmly to get it anywhere 
near this flag. Oh, a bit chunky. And oh, that wasn't oh, it. A bit short. Drink. Another tight hole. I think if I was playing this again, I'd probably hit me four iron as it is. I got my three wood. Fucking all we do is ah! right. The caddy shouted, but there was nobody to shout at. This fairway. I had trouble getting the ball above ground. The grass was so long. I was expecting a bit of a flyer. Now the flag's way up on the back step and I'm way down the front. And it's uphill and into the grain. I thought I'd hit this hard enough. The trouble with playing these very, very slow greens is it's gonna hurt you. The following day I played at Lam Shebang I didn't have a particularly good score because the greens there were considerably quicker. It's getting dark now, the sun's going down, we've got about 20 minutes of daylight left and that'll be it. I'm reading greens in the dark isn't a great deal of fun. This looks a bit lighter because now the, l the light is behind the camera rather than into the camera but I can assure you this was pretty black by now. Last hole's a par five. Water right, sand left. Sounds like my kind of shot. I've hit a few of these on this tour so far. Finish on a down slope. So it's going to come out low, and I choose the five. We finished the round, I got my watch out of my bag, and it was five hours and 45 minutes. And ten minutes after we put it out, it was pitch black. Two balls. Two balls.